Welcome to the ultimate guide to EDC Las Vegas 2023, the largest music festival in the country that you don't want to miss. Today, I'll tell you all you need to know to be prepared for this epic event. My name is Joe and I'll be your rave tour guide for the day. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more EDC Las Vegas content. Let's go. First up, the weather. EDC was first held during the month of June from 2011 to 2017. The temperatures during these years were super high. And if you thought people didn't wear clothes now, we didn't wear them then. Since 2018, the festival is now held in the month of May for multiple reasons, one of them being the weather. Be sure to pack extra clothes and outerwear for when the wind kicks up and the temperatures go down. This year, I'm planning on bringing goggles to help with the high winds because I was getting tiny rocks in my eyes by the end of the night. And don't forget to look at the weather and prepare accordingly. Number two, getting to the festival. Obviously, if you want the least amount of headaches, leave early. The later in the night you decide to make your way, the more headaches you might face. For example, on Friday, day one of EDC 2022, my wife and I decided to go to the mid-strip shuttle at about 6.30 p.m.-ish, and it was brutal. It took us at least one and a half hours to get on a shuttle once we arrived, and by the time we got on, we didn't get to the festival until 10 p.m. The next day for day two, we drove up with a friend at 5 p.m., and it only took us 45 minutes to get to the parking lot, and we were in the festival by like 6.30. That was much better. If you're driving up, you have two options. Take the Interstate 15 or take Las Vegas Boulevard to the Speedway. If you have Premier Parking Pass, you're most likely going to take the I-15. Ride Shares Over the years, the ride share experience has improved. At EDC, you can expect the ride share to be similar to the airports, where you meet your driver at a designated location or number. We're planning on ride sharing this year, so I'll be able to share my personal experience later on. Don't be surprised by the surge pricing and split with your other riders. One year, our driver gave us his personal phone number and we scheduled a private pickup with him without even using the app. Of course, we paid him a little extra for doing this. He even had an iPad on in his car that he used to stream EDC in the car. Shuttles. If you're planning to take a shuttle, here are some tips. First, if you have a totem, have a plan to bring it in the bus. If it's super big, ask the driver if you can store it under the bus. If you can collapse your totem, do that. I also recommend bringing your headphones to watch the EDC live stream on the way to the festival or listen to music without disturbing your other shuttle riders. And the ride to the speedway is about an hour long, maybe a little bit longer depending on when you go, uh, so keep that in mind. I don't recommend getting super wasted before getting on the shuttle, mostly because you'll end up sitting there for who knows how long. Use that time to conserve your energy and party all night long. Helicopters. Yes, the quickest and most luxurious way to get to the festival is by helicopter. Operated by Maverick Helicopters, a Las Vegas company, the helicopters are an unforgettable way to get to EDC Las Vegas. There are different departure times, but everyone wants to do the flyover when the sun is down and the lights are on. You can reserve a one-way trip or a round trip, and you can do it for one day or you can do it for all three. If you decide to take a helicopter, be sure to plan accordingly to make them very, very most of your own experience. VIP. A VIP wristband gives access to a lot of exclusive stuff at EDC. First off, there's the VIP area at Kinetic Field. It's the biggest VIP area in EDC. This VIP area, there is an elevated viewing deck. In 2022, we saw this viewing deck shrink down from what we once saw in 2018. And unless you're at the front of the platform, it's kind of hard to see the main stage, but it's still a nice perk to have the option available. There's also a VIP Ferris wheel and a lot of other cool amenities including a beauty bar, a candy making station, dedicated gourmet food trucks with options for different dietary preferences. 
and there is a really cool lounge area where you can sit down with a table and still have a view of main stage. And there's also a free breakfast called Beats and Breakfast, served from 4 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. Then there's the Circuit Grounds VIP area, which is the second largest and also has gourmet food options, a VIP dance floor, but no elevated viewing area. The Kinetic Field and Circuit Ground areas have VIP lockers and of course the VIP bathrooms. In 2022, the VIP area between Quantum Valley and Neon Garden was dope. It was spacious. It had bars, photo ops, and bathrooms. Now here's a look at the VIP viewing area at Cosmic Meadow. Most of the other stages also have VIP viewing areas, just depending on the stage. VIP Upgrade A limited amount of VIP upgrades will be available during the festival, but they will sell out. In 2022, we tried to upgrade a friend's ticket on Saturday, and they were all sold out. VIP Tables For an ultra VIP experience, check out the different VIP tables EDC has to offer. There are VIP tables at three stages, Kinetic Field, Circuit Grounds, and Neon Garden. Like a nightclub, there are different tiers of tables. There's even a VIP table section in the middle of the Kinetic Field dance floor, giving attendees a super dope experience. Table minimums for tier three start at $5,000 and include six wristbands. Table minimum for tier one goes as high as $30,000. If you purchase a tier 1 prime row table, you get 15 wristbands for the day of that festival. The wristbands are VIP, so you have access to all the other VIP amenities throughout the festival for that day. Your table purchase is only good for one day of the event. If you want a table for all three days, you'll need to purchase three different tables. Lockers GA and VIP lockers are available for rental. And at the posting of this video, lockers are currently available to rent. The GA lockers are located near the main merchandise booth, close to the Kinetic Field and Wasteland. There are VIP lockers at Kinetic Field and also at Circuit Grounds, so choose your locker wisely. If you take the shuttle or have either Premier or ADA parking, purchase the Kinetic Field or GA locker. If you are arriving by car, Purchase the circuit grounds locker because it's closer to your exit. The lockers have chargers in them and are enough space for 2-3 to three people depending on what you bring in. I recommend using a grocery bag to carry your outerwear and blankets and then put them in your locker until you need them. Merchandise There are usually two main merchandise locations inside of the Speedway. There are additional merchandise locations inside Camp EDC, and starting in 2023, there's supposed to be a merchandise location at Hotel EDC located at Resorts World Las Vegas. Just a heads up, lines at the merchandise shops will be long, and if you're lucky, you might walk by when they're short. In 2022, many people waited over 3 hours to snag a hoodie during the windy hours of day 1. I personally waited one hour and moved five feet before leaving and opting to grab a pashmina and just head to a warmer part of the stage. The map. The map is your key to getting around the festival. Take a look at the map and get an idea of where the different stages and landmarks are. Your north star is going to be Kinetic Field. If you know where Kinetic Field is in relation to where you are, you will be able to navigate the speedway with ease. Insomniac introduced special roads to help headliners navigate the festival. The main road is Rainbow Road, which runs north and south and will take you from Kinetic Field all the way to Circuit Grounds. The other two main roads are Daisy Lane and Electric Avenue, marked by their signature arches. There's also Memory Lane, which is a short road that is lined with screens playing trailers from past EDCs. Then you have a few more, including the Power Path and the Kinetic Trail. ADA Accommodations There is an ADA parking lot near the Premier parking lot, and at all the stages there are dedicated ADA sections. The ADA sections do have a few rows of chairs, and there are bathrooms that are ADA friendly at the GI and VIP bathroom areas.
restrooms. Remember, this festival sees over 100,000 people each day and that's a lot of waste. If this is your first EDC, I suggest you lower your expectations for the bathrooms and come prepared. Bring your own toilet paper, bring wet wipes, maybe even bring a flashlight. If you have GA Plus and you see GA headliners using your restroom, don't be surprised. The security does not really care that much and it really is a lot for them to keep track of it anyway. Also, as a sidebar, the bathrooms are a really funny break from the festival. I've had some seriously hilarious interactions there. For example, if you see someone standing in front of a porta potty that is available, maybe give them a nudge to remind them. Downtown EDC. Did you know that you could get legally married at EDC Las Vegas? Downtown EDC was designed by the Leisure Expert Group, who has worked with Insomniac on several projects in recent years, including the Electric Mile and Escape Halloween. Downtown EDC was first added in 2019, and according to the Leisure Expert Group's website, Downtown EDC concept was to dream together to make the dreams a reality. Downtown EDC added a drag bar, multiple wedding chapels, a mini bar, an open air theater, and a few other special experiences. It's a great place to hang out and explore in between stages. Carnival Rides The carnival rides at EDC are all free to use and are scattered throughout the center of the festival. They're a great way to pass the time as well as get a bird's eye view of the festival. Tailgating While it's not officially allowed, a lot of headliners can be seen tailgating in the Speedway parking lot. If you're planning to arrive by car and you want to avoid traffic, get to the Speedway early and hang out with your friends before the event. Please drink responsibly and please don't drink and drive. Your wristband. Ticket boxes are going to be sent out pretty soon, as layaway payments are set to finish. In the box, you will receive your EDC wristband. I don't put my wristband on until I start my drive to Las Vegas. That's because in 2014 when I got the box, I put my ticket on and I accidentally put it on too tight. I was so afraid I wasn't going to be able to get it off or loosen it, but thankfully I was able to do it without damaging the wristband. You also want to make sure you register your wristband just in case you do happen to lose it or break it. You can purchase a replacement for a fee. The lineup. Expect the lineup to come four to six weeks in advance of the festival. One interesting fact about the lineup is that artists are scheduled in a way that can help alleviate crowd surging and even foot traffic. If you have ever wondered why your two favorite DJs are playing at the same time, it's to split the crowds up. In most cases, they're on opposite sides of the festival, one at Kinetic Field and the other at Circuit Grounds. You can also expect to see surprise sets from various artists. Most surprise sets are artists that are currently on the lineup. And don't sleep on the lineup for the art cars and the smaller stages like the Corona stage or the Allegiant Rave hangar. The Insomniac app. Remember to download the Insomniac app before you head to EDC. You can select your favorite sets to catch and create your own festival schedule inside the app. You'll also be able to see the full bios of your favorite artists to learn a little bit more about them. And if there is a surprise set, you may get a notification letting you know who and when and where they are playing. Non-alcoholic drinks. As a non-drinker, I was looking around for any non-alcoholic options, and what I found was a mushroom tea that I really enjoyed. Each time, they reminded me the mushrooms were not psychedelic. The food. You can expect a variety of food in both taste and quality at EDC. The Speedway offers concessions similar to what they would offer at other events being held at the Speedway, including hamburgers, chicken tenders, french fries, and more. 
head to Carnival Square in the center of the festival if this is what you crave. Scattered throughout the festival, you can find local businesses serving up different cuisines, including my favorite, Homing's Kitchen, a local Filipino restaurant offering lumpia rice bowls. Cosmic Meadows special guest. In 2022, Jaws brought out Snoop Dogg for his NFT release. In 2019, ASAP Rocky was a surprise guest. In 2018, Post Malone performed after being late by like 30 minutes. The fireworks at EDC are legendary and typically start around 1.30 a.m. each day. Be sure to check the set times for the actual times at EDC. You can watch the fireworks at your favorite stage or wherever your favorite artist is playing. Or you can head to the bleachers by Cosmic Meadow and head to the very top to catch the fireworks shooting over the landscape of the entire EDC festival grounds. This year, I'm planning to watch from the very top of the bleachers. We are one. Let our energy flow through this kinetic field. Blur. Peace, love, unity, and respect. An important part of the culture at EDC. At its core, Plur is about mutual respect and acceptance. It's about embracing diversity, both in culture and in music. While Plur is the motto of the EDM scene, it has various implications for different people in the community, from showing understanding and support for artists to showing respect for each other at festivals and events. It signifies a commitment to helping build a better EDM culture. So when you're moving throughout the festival and even outside the festival, let's keep the plur alive. Candy is a vital component of the rave culture here at EDC. Candy is now worn all over the world and it is really what connects us all. They're more than just beads on a string. They have meaning and they deserve respect, appreciation, and really kindness. If you're new to EDC and raves, I encourage you to create a few pieces to bring and trade with someone you meet or someone that you're with at the right time and the right moment Capture it by trading that special piece of candy you made with that person. Share with them a few words, whether they're words of encouragement or signs of appreciation, and then trade the candy with them. And if you haven't traded candy before, here are two short demonstrations. Walking. You can expect to do a lot of walking at EDC. You'll be walking from stage to stage, then to the bathroom, then to get food, then to go back to a stage, then climb up the bleachers, and so much more. If you want to keep the walking to a minimum, try to plan your routes around the festival in advance. For example, try exploring the festival in a circle instead of a zigzag from spot to spot, and be sure to take breaks in between. Be mindful of your friends and other people in your group. Everyone moves at a different pace and we all want to have a good time. Totems. Totems are multifunctional and most importantly, they serve as a marker for your group. Instead of all holding hands to avoid getting lost, 
One person can lead with a totem while the others follow along, keeping their eyes on the totem. Totems are also a great way to express your creativity or your skills, especially those good with lights. Totems can be very useful, even if it's only you and one other person. When you're walking around the festival with a totem, other people can see you coming and can avoid running or bumping into you. Medical tents. There are medical tents placed throughout the festival, with the largest one to the southwest of the festival grounds. In 2022, there were four different medical tents that offered attendees services and supplies, including emergency blankets and some over-the-counter medications. Harm Reduction in order to combat the drug epidemic and accidental overdose from opioids and fentanyl, Insomniac has partnered with the nonprofit End Overdose to have a presence at all Insomniac festivals. End Overdose reduces risk by educating headliners, providing supplies, and medical intervention. Narcan is allowed at any Insomniac event and can save a life. Look out for one another. Ground Control. These are headliners, just like you, who are volunteering their time to keep the festival safe. They can be found in their purple ground control shirts and typically travel in threes. They have walkie-talkies and can get in communication with help ASAP. There's even stories on the internet about headliners being escorted to the medical tent by ground control team members. If you fall asleep somewhere, don't be surprised if a ground control team member nudges you to make sure you're alive. Hearing protection. If you're a seasoned raver, you'll know how important it is to protect your hearing. If you want to keep going to EDC for years to come, pack your special earplugs that allow you to hear the music, feel the music, and even still talk to the person next to you. The Consciousness Group. This is a group of ravers that have come together to offer support to people in sobriety. The group neither condemns nor condones drug or alcohol usage and is not affiliated with AA, NA, or any other 12-step program. If you are in recovery or are simply looking for some people to talk to in this regard, stop by the Consciousness Group tent near the Carnival Square. Thank you. Closing time. Closing time at EDC can be brutal. So brutal, I choose to leave well before the end of the festival to avoid all the traffic. If you're leaving by car at closing time, remember to fill up your tank, pack snacks, bring water, and be prepared to wait over an hour, possibly more, just to get home. If you're leaving by shuttle at closing time, expect long waits at the shuttle stops and refill your hydration packs before you head back. One year, we didn't get on a shuttle bus until 9 a.m. in the brutal summer heat. People were passing out due to heat exhaustion and they had to bring pallets of water to headliners waiting for shuttles. If you plan to stay until closing time, prepare for the worst and don't expect to get anywhere quickly. That is, of course, unless you are staying at Camp EDC. Of the innocent. PDA. You will likely see some PDA during your experience at EDC. There's a lot of energy, love, and drugs that fill the air, and we all know the effect that has on us. Well, if you haven't taken controlled substances, you might not know. So if you don't partake, just expect PDA throughout the festival. And if you're going to participate in PDA, please keep it legal and be respectful of other headliners. And remember, all are welcome here. Theft. One hard reality about EDC Las Vegas is that there is a small population of attendees that come to prey on unsuspecting, 
intoxicated and inebriated headliners. They range from petty thieves to organized crews with tactical plans to rob you. To avoid the fear and anxiety of losing your things being pickpocketed, here are a few tips. First, keep your valuables in a safe place, maybe like in a crossbody bag in front of you, or in a theft-proof bag like the ones from Lunchbox. Also, don't leave your phone or wallet in your back pocket. And also, don't get too intoxicated that you can't keep track of your things. And finally, if you see something, say something. Sound bleed. The stages at EDC are pretty close to each other. So close that you can expect sound bleed at some of the stages. You can notice it when walking from stage to stage. So when you arrive to the stage of choice, try to move to a part of the dance floor where you only hear the stage you're at. Finally, returning to reality. This can be really difficult, especially after draining your serotonin, drinking like an elephant, or simply getting no sleep all weekend long. Whatever your story, returning to reality does take care and attention. So here are some tips to returning to reality. First, as you make your way back home, reflect on your experience. What were you most grateful for? What were your favorite moments? Write them down, put them in your journal, or share them on social media like everyone else does. Let your experience charge your battery instead of drain your battery. Now that you've celebrated at EDC, what can you look forward to for the rest of the year? How can you use this experience as a source of motivation moving forward? Thank you for watching here until the end. My name is Joe, your rave tour guide. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel.